OK, so in the previous video, um, I differentiated each of these. And now I want to factorize the answers. So for number 1, OK, I'm going to have to write it up here, I think. So for number 1, we've got uh, 10x times x plus 1 to the 9 plus x plus 1 to the 10. The only thing I can factor out there is the x plus 1 to the 9. OK, and what I'd have left, left is the 10x from there and an extra x plus 1 there. So I would have x plus 1 to the 9 multiplied with 11x plus 1. So if I was asked to find the stationary points of this curve, I would know that they sit at minus 1 and minus 1 over 11. Now, for number 2, we've got 10x cubed, x minus 2 to the 4, plus 6x squared, x minus 2 to the 5. So I could factor out a 2. That's a common factor of 10 and 6. I can factor out x squared. I can factor out x minus 2 to the 4, leaving me with 5x in this first term. And here I would have 3 times x minus 2. So that's 2x squared, x minus 2 to the 4. And then I've got 8x minus 6. Now, to be in a fully factorised form, that last bracket there has got a factor of 2. So I could pull the 2 out so that I have 4x minus 3 inside that bracket. OK? That's a valid move. Right, so number 3. We've got this 24x to the half times x minus 3 to the 5, plus 2x to the minus a half, x minus 3 to the 6. OK. So we can pull out a factor of 2 from the two coefficients. Now we've got the x to the half and x to the minus a half, so we're going to pull out the x to the minus a half, as that's got the lower index. And then we've got the x minus 3 to the 5. Now what that leaves me with... Um, is a 12, um, 12x there, because x to the minus a half times x will make the x to the half. And over here, I've got that bit sorted. I've just got an x minus 3 lingering there. So x minus 3. So that's 2x to the minus a half, x minus 3 to the 5, and that's a 13x minus 3. OK. So that's that one. So um, if I was asked where are the stationary points for this curve, OK, now the x to the minus a half can't be 0, so that's not counted. Uh, but we could have x is 3 and x is 3 thirteenths. So this one has two stationary points. Right, let's have a look at number 4. I'm going to start running out of space if I'm not careful. So I have to write it a little bit smaller. Right, well, we've got 2 and the 3 don't have any common factors, so we've got, apart from 1, um, but I can pull out the x plus 2 squared there, and I can pull out an x plus 3 from there, leaving me with two lots of x plus 2, and I've got a 3 lots of an x plus 3. So I've got x plus 2 squared, x plus 3, and then I've got 2x plus 3x, so 5x, then I've got 4 plus 9, which is 13. So the stationary points for this curve sit at minus 2, minus 3, and minus 13 fifths. OK, right, number 5. See what I can do with this in the space. So what have I got? I've got a 12 and 10, so I can pull out a factor of 2. Now I've got 2x minus 3 to the 4. And I've got 3x plus 1 cubed. 
Right. I'm going to write on the next line. So the bracket of what I've got left, I've got a 6 coming from this one. And I've got a 2x minus 3. The 3x plus 1 cubed is done. Here I've got a 5. 2x minus 3 is done, to the 4 is done. I've got a 3x plus 1. Okay, so I've got two lots of 2x minus 3 to the 4 times 3x plus 1 cubed times, now I've got 12x there, um, 15x there, so that's 27x. So 12 plus 15, 27. Then I've got minus 18 plus 5, so minus 13. So if I was asked to find the stationary points of that curve, I know that they sit at 3 halves, minus a third, and 13 twenty-sevenths. Okay, so last but not least, we've got number 6. So... Um, I could pull out, because uh, I've got four thirds and three, I could pull out a third here. I probably will, I think. That will tidy it up a little bit. So I'm going to pull out a third. And I've got the 6x minus 1 to the half and 6x minus 1 to the minus half. So that's the one I pull out. 6x minus 1 to the minus a half. Then I've got this 4x plus 5 to the minus 2 thirds against that one, so that one is the least, so that comes out. Right, what does that leave me with? Well, 1 third times 4, I'm going to have 6x minus 1 from that. And I've dealt with that one, so I've got 4 lots of 6x minus 1, plus, now as I've put a third out, I'm going to have to have 9 here, because 1 third times 9 will make the 3. Uh, the 6x minus 1 to the minus half is done with. Now the 4x plus 5, how many of those am I going to need? So 4x plus 5 to the minus 2 thirds times by 4x plus 5 will get me to 1 third, so that's what I need. So what have I got left? So I've got the third, the 6x minus 1 to the minus a half, the 4x plus 5 to the minus 2 thirds, and last but not least, I've got four lots of 6, so that's 24, plus 36, uh, which is 60x, and I've got minus 4 plus 45, so that's 41. So, if I was asked to find the stationary points of this curve, um, there are no stationary points identified from either of those brackets because they're in the denominator, remember. So, the only stationary point to this curve is at minus 41 over 60 from that bracket.